Good day everyone, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'm going to share with you on how we came up with our setup. Bucket 6 kilowatt inverter, pano naging 12 pieces of panels, and bucket 10 kilowatt battery. Ano ba yung mga considerations namin to have those numbers? What I'm going to show you is just a simple computation just to give you a general idea. Na I think and I hope na pwede nyo maging basis on computing your own requirements. Even though meron tayong iba-ibang needs and purpose sa pag-put up ng solar panels, the formula I'm going to share with you is the most practical and conservative way at least for us. Okay, just to put it briefly, ito ang formula. For the inverter size, average daily usage, i-divide nyo siya sa sun peak hour and then add energy loss. For the number of PV panels, Inverter size, it divide nyo siya dun sa wattage na target panels nyo. For the battery size, average daily usage, it divide nyo into two kung ang purpose is to use it for night use only. Um, so that's it. I can end this video. Tapos na. Sundan nyo lang yung formula. But of course, para may kabuluhan naman ang ating video, isa-isahin natin yung mga factors we consider for this computation. Actually, there are two methods to do it. One is based on our electricity bill through averaging. If you will pay attention to your electricity bills, meron dyan na nakalagay na average usage for the last 12 or 13 months. And then, meron din daily average usage based on your current bill. Second is through your appliance wattages. Though maraming variables ang kailangan mo dito compared dun sa first method, na ang kailangan mo lang is yung monthly usage and daily usage. Here, kailangan mong isa-isahin lahat ng appliances mo sa bahay. I-list mo yung mga watts niya and time of use and hour of use. Alin man sa dalawang methods na nabanggit ko, it will help you decide on how many solar panels, size ng inverter, and battery ang kakailanganin mo based on your needs. With these two methods, mas practical for us to use the first one to determine the right size of solar panels for our home. So what I'm going to show you is how we compute using our electricity bill. So bago tayo mag-compute, let's first take note of what is sun peak hour. Ito yung kung kailan tirik na tirik ang araw kung saan nakakakuha ng enough sunlight ang ating mga panels. So here in the Philippines, it is 4 hours in between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So what is energy loss? Ito yung losses in power output. Yung mga equipments natin connected to our system, kailangan nila ng energy to function. Let's say our inverter's efficiency is 97% only. Yung 3% consider it as energy loss. So ano-ano ba yung 3% losses doon? Aside dun sa energy na ginamit niya to function, temperature and load are also factors that affect inverter's efficiency. So yung temperature Temperature, kailangan well-ventilated ang ating equipment. Yung load naman, kailangan match ang inverter sa mga panels. For the battery, ang loss naman niya could be the wirings na ginamit natin. Pwede rin na mismatch yung ating mga wirings and that causes the energy loss. Major contributor ng energy loss is possibly from our panels. Due to dust and shading, and then yung temperature niya, efficiency ng wiring. Aside from dirt, yun din shading. If you've seen our part 1, all sides of our roof meron siyang firewalls. At some point, yung firewalls na yon nakakashade siya sa aming panels. Dito, kailangan yung proper planning and designing. Especially for us DIYers, we have to take this into account kasi mas prone kami into error. Need mag-research at aralin talaga to minimize losses.
Now, alam na natin na may 4 sun peak hours and 30% energy loss. Pwede na tayo mag-start mag-compute using the formula na ibinigay ko kanina. To get our daily average usage, first, kailangan natin kunin yung average usage for the past 12 months, which is 493 kWh. And then, let us divide 493 to 30 days to get our average daily usage. So, ang aming average daily usage ay 16.433 kilowatt hour. Following our formula kanina, let us divide average daily usage, the sun peak hour, and then add energy loss. So based on our average daily usage na 16.43 kilowatt hour, we need at least 5.34 kilowatt na inverter. But sa solids, wala silang exactly the same size na. So we got the next available size in the market, which is 6 kilowatt inverter. meron na tayong inverter size, pwede na natin kunin kung ilang panels ang ating kailangan. By this time, nasukat na kami ng aming roof and dimensions ng mga panels to make sure nakakasya sa sa aming roof. Ang pinili namin ay ang 555 watts na Jinko panels. Since meron na kaming dimensions and watts ng panel, let us divide 6,000 watts to 555 watts. So, need naman ng 10 pieces na 555 watts na panel para sa 6 kilowatt na inverter. Since ang maximum usable PV input power ng 6 kilowatt hybrid inverter ay 9.6 kilowatt, Ginawa na namin 12 pieces ang aming panels. If we are going to maximize the, the maximum PV input power, kanya naman niya hanggang 20 pieces. Pero hindi na siya kakasya sa aming bubong. For the battery, since our goal is to use it at night and kapag brown out, nabihira namang mangyari sa area namin, we are just going to divide our average daily usage by 2. And the result is 8.21 kilowatts. And since we are eyeing for Dyna's battery, ang pinakamalapit na size is 10 kilowatts. And ang kinuha namin ay 2 pieces of 5.12 kilowatt. So bakit ba hindi isang 10 kilowatt battery ang kinuha namin? Uh, naisip lang namin na what if masira yung battery. So kung dalawa yung battery namin, masira man yung isa, meron pang isang matitira. So that's how we compute for our PV solar system. Maybe you can use this method to get a rough estimation for your household requirement. If you have other ways to compute, please share it in the comments. The next slide I'm going to show you is using the second method na nabanggit ko kanina. Mostly questions na na-receive naman is in this type. Kung saan nababanggit lagi na four specific appliances lang ang paggagamitan. So let's say ang paggagamitan nyo lang ay para sa tatlong aircon, isang ref, isang water dispenser, and one shower heater. List down natin ang mga watts ng bawat appliances. And then... 
Need natin malaman kung ilang oras mo siya kagamitin at kung sa araw ba or sa gabi. Tapos, kunin natin ang total daytime use in kilowatt hour by multiplying watts to use hour. Para dun sa ating aircon, I'm going to assume na inverter aircon ang mga ito. So, i-consider natin yung 40% na energy savings. So, ang computation yan is multiply natin yung watts sa daytime use hour and then multiply again sa 60%. To get the inverter size, let's add daytime and nighttime kilowatt hour and then divide it by 4. So that is 46,140 divided by 4 is equal to 11,535. Para naman sa battery size, if ang purpose is to use it during night time, by just looking at the total kilowatt hour at night time, yan na yung mismong battery size. But this time, we need to consider 90% DOD. So DOD, it is that of discharge. Meaning, kung 100%, only 90% ang gagamitin natin. The remaining 10% is the SOC which is surge of charge. In this way kasi nai-improve natin yung overall system efficiency and kapag masyadong malalim ang discharge, it can shorten our battery's lifespan. So dapat hindi natin fully drain ang ating battery. So for the panels naman, ang hinahanap natin is ilang pieces na panels. So here, we are going to divide our total load, which is 46,140 by 4 as sun peak hour and then multiply by 30% as the energy loss. And then I am going to assume na 550 watts ang target yung panel. So let us just divide it to 550. 